Okay, gang. We're gonna let this curl call. We're gonna make some liqueurs. Okay. Uh, let's do this here. Let's put this here. Let you guys see it as well. I wanna move this guy here. So we got room. So you guys will see. Okay. Now, let's make some uh, grape liqueur. Now, here's our grape liqueur from 2020. Okay. I think we made this together. So grape, August 2020, 10 out of 10, I give it a rating. Fantastic. Here's what the grapes, like they turned this color, right? After two years, right? Fantastic. This was so delicious. It's still delicious, right? I should probably top this up as well. I got some three bottles of vodka 26ers going on here. So what we're going to do is make the grape liqueur, the new batch. We're going to make a bigger batch okay because this was an experiment this is the first time i was making grape liqueur and uh, so good so good so good and these are the grapes that we harvested from our patio right so let's make it in uh, let's make it in this is that going to be too big <laughs> i got really big big jars going on here right <laughs> gotta get the big jars or the liqueur uh, hilarious the sweet chain are you gonna do uh, no 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 milk of bugs <laughs> thanks <laughs> that might be one where i have uh ethical qual yeah i don't you know if if the w the wef wef wants you to eat something uh, i'm gonna think twice about it right so take a look at this thing here here's our grapes i already uh pulled them off the stems and I gave them a wash. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this in here. Let's see how much it takes. Okay. Nice. Good, 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 good. That's awesome. And then we'll wash this bag later, of course, right? So let's put this here and we'll take this guy too. Let's put this guy here for now. So grapes from our patio, right? I'm going to add one cup of sugar on this, okay? First time chat, Nicholas Vivaldi. Hey, it's my first time watching you live. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Welcome to our live stream. Salute, salute. With tea today. Ponzikela, you got to try that. <laughs> you got bread and deep fried and green flour and cockroach oil. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity, right? Insanity. Uh, where we got? Okay, I'm going to open this up here. I'm just going to add one cup of sugar. Okay. Not much. Okay, just one cup of sugar. Because the grapes are really sweet. Let's put this here for now. This guy, we don't need no more. Let's put that there. And let's bring our vodka. That's curcoling, that's good. This one curcoling too. Let's bring a bottle out. And again, I'm sticking with absolute. Okay. Uh, and check this out. I went to the liquor store to pick up these bottles. And uh, there's actually a limit they had on at the liquor store. You weren't allowed to buy. You could buy as much beer as you wanted. But any item, may they be spirits or or wine, you're only allowed to buy three. So rationing in a liquor store in Canada. Wow. Right? Ghost phase 420, a sweet chin. Beginner question, how long are you able to freeze fruit before you use it? Oh, forever. 
as far as I know. <laughs> I've never had fruit go bad in the freezer. Uh, we consume it beforehand, right? Uh, absolute uh, lonely pick. Absolute is a good bang for your buck vodka. It is. It is. In, alcohol in Canada is expensive, extremely expensive. Right? And you just pour it on top. Nice. And a bottle, a little bit left, right? A little bit left. Fills up the grapes to the top. And the grapes will sink. So we'll have vodka on top, right? Cave Med Fika Chicho. Nice kitchen. Very cozy. Thank you. Now, what you want to do is, I'm just going to close this up. Seal it. Okay. And give it a shake. Now, I might decide to add more sugar later. Okay. Make sure the jar seals, all right? Okay. And this, you can just leave in, in the sunlight for a couple of days, right? And then you can just put it on the shelf. Uh, it doesn't need to be in the sunlight the whole time, right? Leave it in the sunlight for a couple of days, a day, two days, maybe three, four days. That way it'll heat up, it'll dissolve the sugar at the bottom. And then every day, you know, Go and give it a little shake. Okay. If you got a warm house, you can just leave it and it should dissolve. Okay. And once all the sugar in the bottom is gone, that's totally uh, diluted in there, right? And let it sit. This probably let it sit for about four weeks before tasting it and see how it tastes. Strawberry is the quickest that the flavor gets in. In about three weeks, even two weeks sometimes, depending on the, the strawberries, right? Two to four weeks, the strawberry tastes good, but the longer it stays, the better it tastes. Okay, so this one I'm probably not gonna taste at maybe month, month and a half. Okay, maybe I'll give it a uh, taste in a month. Okay. Lonely Piggy, I can't drink vodka anymore though. The smell alone makes me woozy. Ooh, uh, the liqueurs don't really smell like vodka. They don't even taste like vodka. The good one, uh, those str like strawberry and stuff. Uh, Spencer, man, how are you doing? Doing good, man. Thank you very much. May rice for you cooking. Uh, Ponzi killer, I'm microwaving my homemade rice to you cooking. Awesome. Sweet Chen, hope you have good rice. I'm gonna make this adult grape drink. Adult grape drink looks good. It, it is good. Uh, yo, if you guys are in the uh, USA, don't get the sauerkraut at the, at Hanford. There. The <laughs> what? I'm gonna put this here. Okay. Now. Oh, we're gonna make blackberry liqueur too. Uh, but before we make blackberry liqueur, let's make some plum liqueur as well. We're going to make some plum liqueur. Okay. Here is... Here's plum liqueur we made in 2019. Okay. Added sugar August... No, added sugar August 2019. This is actually plums made like 10 years ago maybe. Take a look. These are big plums, right? They're super good. Okay. I'm gonna bring one out and eat it like maybe eight years ago okay they're strong bring up a little yeah sure we'll put it in this and uh plums really catch the alcohol flavor when you make liqueur the fruits really uh absorb the alcohol flavor the liquid is doesn't taste like alcohol at all usually it just falls apart in your mouth but it's got a strong alcohol flavor i haven't made a fruit liqueur yet where the alcohol flavor doesn't just get sucked into the liqueur i get sucked into the fruit 
Okay. So what we end up doing usually, Richard Ruger, thank you very much for the follow, Hong Kong. So usually what we do is um, we pour the liqueur, the liquid, and when you drink that, it's like, it's like sweet candy, right? And you can have a little fruit on the side and just nibble on it and get the alcohol flavor, okay? Cheryl, I made a pint of plum with crystallized ginger. Oh, nice. Should be ready in a few weeks. Oh, that would be very good. Sweet gin. Yeah, plums are amazing. Calf med. What does a bottle of absolute vodka cost? A bottle of absolute vodka costs around $30, $26 with taxes. Comes up to around $30. Is it $26? Yeah, around $30 in Canada. Crazy prices. Crazy prices. Take a look. This is cooking down now. You can see the foam coming up. See that? When the foam is coming, foam is coming up, you gotta really watch this because all of a sudden it might just go, right? So you wanna get it going because you want this to break down, okay? And you're giving it a mix because you don't want the bottom to stick. So I'm taking the spoon and I'm scraping the bottom with it. Let's make sure this one's doing okay too. What's your favorite liqueur you've made so far then uh, i love the strawberry i love lemon i love the plum um it's not what's it's not really what's my favorite liqueur it's what i didn't like very much i didn't like cucumber cucumber wasn't very good <laughs> actually at some point it became okay it became not bad it was sort of refreshing but it, it wasn't the best i won't be making any more cucumber the same uh, it's the same price in Sweden. Okay, okay. Because Swedish vodka is really good, right? Nicholas Ovaldi, have you ever tried mead? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 for sure, honey. Uh, uh, I've been trying to find some of late. I see people making their own. Uh, might give a shot. Yeah, mead, the uh, wine, honey, no? It's really good. DS Rock. Kular, damn Chicho, rocking three angles on a live stream. Nice production value. Speedy Gonzalez production, Speedy Gonzalez production. <laughs> Sweets going out, <on>, cucumber. <laughs> Fonsicola, I added toasted sesame oil to my rice. Nice, delicious, delicious. Add some mint, dried mints if you have it. Super good. Cheryl, did you make the cucumber with vodka or gin? I made them with vodka. And one of them I made no sugar, and one of them made with sugar. And the one with sugar didn't like it at all. The one without the sugar, um, it was better. It was better. It had to sit for a long time. It had to sit for a long time. Atramadas, imagine harvesting honey from bees that live on a cabin, uh, cannabis. Oh, cannabis honey bees. Oh, that would be so good. Ponzicola, fresh mountain mint. Nice. Throw it in. Nets in four. Uh, good morning, Chicho. Been loving the frequent streams lately yeah me too me too getting back in the groove again getting back in the groove again let's do plums mm, how much plums do we have yeah this should fill it up so one more jar i'm just checking this making sure the foam doesn't go get up too high for it to all of a sudden go gotta watch it gotta watch it So check this out. Couple of demos of it here. 
Look at that. These are plums that I harvested. Uh, when we were picking blackberries, um, we saw a plum tree. So I went for it, right? When I'm, when I'm, I like foraging. If I see a fruit tree, I go for it. Do a beeline, right? So, and it's, this should make really good, really good uh, liqueur. It's tart. So, and you want to take off the stems on them, right? Like little stems. I harvested in a way where I didn't get too many stems, but they can stay on as well. No big deal. Sweet chin. Mint is great to keep the mosquitoes uh, and ticks away. Does it? I didn't realize that. Cheryl, I was just thinking cucumber might be decadent with a nice herbal gin. Maybe, maybe I might try it. Good idea about no sugar though. Yeah, no sugar. I didn't really like it with the sugar. It was so off. It was really off. Uh, it wasn't refreshing at all, which is what um, what you want cucumber to be. So if, it, if it's really good with gin, let us know, Cheryl. Maybe I'll try it with gin. Nice. Does it look beautiful, eh? Let it settle. The only piggy, I remember one of the better cooking ones, color wise, was the pomegranate liqueur. It was amazing, amazing. Uh, pomegranate liqueur you made man that color was insane yeah pomegranate is amazing well we got some plums left let me see if i can shake this and free up a little bit more space i don't think so though Panzekele says, oh wow, mint goes good with the rice. Yeah, 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 mint and rice is amazing. Okay, we can't get any more in, so we got a little bit left over. Oop, a little bit left over. Okay, I'm gonna pour this, these guys in here. Okay, let's throw this here for now. I'm gonna give these guys another swirl with a spoon, okay? Just to make sure the bottom's not sticking. Nice, not sticking at all. It's very liquid. The juices have come out. Just want to give it a nice mix. Oh, this one's nicely curcula. Okay, let's close that off. Let's add the sugar for this. Again, I'm just going to go one cup of sugar. Okay. Let's use up what we've got left from here. Pomegranate sound like a or like a five two baseball player. Good for every, good for everything. That. Okay, the bottle. Let's put it. A little bit 
again looks like with the fruit no no because we already used up a little bit so this one took up more vodka because there's more spaces between the plums uh the grapes less spaces right she chose uh, pomegranate salad dressing is killer too yeah yeah super delicious super delicious i'm glad you like lonely piggy nice nice memory beautiful color look at that just beautiful right just beautiful take a look so we got grapes grapes and plums right now these are heavy right super cool right. amazing together <laughs> right little bit of vodka leakage from shaking that cool look at this this is kirkling so just give it a shake or a swirl the foam on it is amazing this one too that up so it breathes a little bit uh, blackberry 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 base man chicho are you a f are you a fan of beets for sure i made a very quick and easy salad with uh, arugula beets and goat cheese nice beets and goat cheese go amazing together some simple and great and balsamic vinegar and some dressing yeah fantastic you can do beets apples and uh, uh cabbage beets apples and cabbage or just beets and apples is really good First time chat, raid, 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 raid. First time chat, lots of first right. First time chat, hype. Welcome to our live stream. Um, Bleak attack and monkey geek and dino dinosaur one three three one. Welcome raiders, welcome raiders. Salute, salute. Raiders, raiders. Let's make the blackberry, master chef. <laughs> Let's make the blackberry. You know what? Let's stay consistent. We'll put the blackberry in this as well. So I'm gonna bring out the jar that we put in the fridge. Or the bucket. So this is our blackberry. So we're gonna put this in there. Okay, this one I'm gonna to have to use a spoon. I'm gonna leave the lid open for this a little bit. Same with this, because I don't want it to go boiling over while we're busy making this stuff. Beautiful, thank you. What's up? Diet Coke for life. Diet Coke for life. Don't eat that stuff or don't drink that stuff. That stuff will kill you. You can hear the crackling, right? A little bit of leaf. Okay, 
these guys are kirkling nicely. Let me do a little shake on this. This is blackberry jam we're gonna be making. Two pots of blackberry jam. Very liquidy, very liquidy. Let's close it up. Or leave a little bit of gap there. Uh, little handlers these guys on here because it's getting hot okay how long do I let the plums sit the plums again I'm gonna let sit at least a month month and a half the longer the better for the plums okay Ray Rachel sorry for the late message hope you're having a beautiful you too as well Ray thank you very much thank you very much Ray Raid, 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 and first time chat. Sorry if I missed some of the first time chat and raid game. Uh, with the cooking sort of time sensitive. <sighs> Seeing such delicious food made me hungry. Yum, and the smell. My god, so good. Have a beautiful day today and always, always, always. Thank you. You're amazing. Monkey says to Ray. Basement. What does raid mean? Should I be concerned? No. This it just means they're coming in from uh, another live stream, which is sort of cool. Look at the size of these blackberries. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of these. Right? Fantastic. Mm. So juicy. Mm. I lost a little. What I'm going to do is I want to throw these in here too. There. That way. We're done those. We lost a blackberry. We're going to eat it. You can hear it, eh? Nice. That's the sound you want without it going. I'm gonna add one cup of sugar to this as well. Yeah, I love the sound of it, the crackling.
and slowly the blackberries will sink in, the sugar will sink in, and then we'll give it a shake again. Again, putting these later on, I'm going to put them on the windowsill for a couple of days in the sun, let it heat up, let it, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, uh, sort of, not melt the sugar, but dissolve the sugar, right? Eat it. <laughs> 